Welcome to the Tinkercad cutout training. First thing we have to do is go to Thingiverse and find something cool to cut out. I was working with somebody that wanted a Batman stencil, so I am searching for a Batman stencil on Thingiverse. And when I find one, I will download the STL file. This one right here is promising, so when I click it, I need to check the Thing files. And I do like that, so I'm going to download that SDL. When you download it, make sure you put it somewhere you can find it. I'm going to put it in my Files folder. And then once you save it, it just takes a moment for it to download, depending on your internet connection. When you've got that done, sign into Tinkercad, and then create a new design in Tinkercad. I always make sure I wait for the changes to be saved, and then do the properties. And I'm going to change this to say Batman Cutout, so that my file is named and I can use it later. The magic of this process happens by clicking Import and choosing the file. Navigate to where you put yours. I had mine in that Files folder. And then the more important thing is to remember to hit Import. I quite often forget that, but you can see right there it has now imported that symbol into Tinkercad. I could adjust the size, but I'm happy with the size. I just don't want to print all this plastic in the middle since it's only going to be used as a stencil. The best way to fix this is to use the awesome hole tool to cut out the parts that I don't want. I'm going to start by taking a cube because I can see a huge rectangular section in the middle that I don't want. I hit W to set my work plane for the top and now I can drop that cube right where I want using the nifty little handles to shrink it so that I've got a couple millimeters of plastic left on all four sides of my cube. As I orient that, I right click and drag to spin and take a look at the day item. And then I'm going to use the handle up top to lower it down and make sure that I can cut the whole thing out. I turn it into a hole, and then this is where the magic happens. I drag to select both pieces after I make sure that all changes are saved. And when I group them, it cuts out that big chunk of plastic that I really did not need for this project. I'm going to cut out a little bit more, uh, and this time I'm going to use a fancy tool from the shape generators to help eliminate more of that plastic I don't need. Uh, one of my favorite little ones to fiddle with is called Extrusion. Uh, it is extremely cool because it lets you adjust that shape to your heart's content. So right there it looks like a cylinder, but as soon as I squish the side over on the profile, I can make it look more like that chunk of the bat, bat symbol that is near the top of our creation. Once happy and aligned, I turn it into a hole. I'm going to also do Control C and Control V so that I end up with two of them. I need to make sure that I'm patient. I almost moved that one too quick and lost uh, my work. Uh, if you're ever stuck on the saving button, you'll have to press F5 to get it back. But you can see there I grouped and then I cut out. And now I'm going to go back to that hole again. And this time I'm going to use the awesome adjust tool and I'm going to mirror it. Simply click into that side so that it adjusts and looks the opposite direction. And now I can put my two pieces together, select them, and group them so that I have an awesome cutout Batman stencil. You can be as persistent as you want with making this perfect. I am just showing you the technique so that now you can put it to use with your projects. If you are interested in the different things that we're doing with Tinkercad, please take time to subscribe to us at HL Mod Tech on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook.